Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the official Dominican Republic slash La Romana vlog. I somehow managed to lose the opening clip of this video. So I just finished editing it and I am just recording one really quickly. I've never actually recorded on my computer like this. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. This is the first travel vlog that I've ever done on my channel. So it's a little bit special, so don't judge it too hard. I promise as we travel more, I will definitely get better at these. I already have have so many ideas for different places that we want to go and how I can actually make the vlog but really quickly just a little bit about the resort that we actually stayed in we stayed in the Hilton La Romana which is in La Romana in Dominican Republic it's about 45 minutes away from Punta Cana so we didn't actually stay in Punta Cana we stayed in La Romana which is a little bit more low-key I've definitely heard I've never been there but I've heard that Punta Cana can be a little bit more of like a party city whereas La Romana is on the other side of the island and it's a little bit more low-key we were one of the only Americans there. There were a lot of um, people from all over the world there, not just Dominican, but we were some of the only Americans, which is kind of unique too. So it was an amazing experience. It is a five-star all-inclusive resort. So you guys know I talk about it all the time on my channel. We love to utilize credit card points because we do spend through our business a lot. And so we are super, super thankful that the hotel stay was actually completely paid for by credit card points. I will link the credit cards that we actually use to earn those points points down below in case you guys are interested in signing up. We stayed for eight days. I recorded about four days there. And just to give you guys some context really quickly, you're going to see us flying there and then we're going to go to the beach. The beach is actually the next day. We just went to the beach all day and then we went out to dinner. So I lost the opening clip right before we went to the beach, which is why there's no opening. I think the first thing that I say in the video is like we're going to dinner. But anyways, this is now the opening clip. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. Okay, we just got ready for dinner. I'm just wearing this white tank top with some jean shorts. Seven's wearing a polo, but we are going to go get some food. I didn't really vlog a ton today just because we were so tired from traveling right, yesterday. So so I know so this view, view is so pretty. These are infinity pools too. We spent pretty much the entire day in this pool. They have a swim up bar over here. So we just got some drinks and relaxed by the pool for the most of the day since um, we were very tired from traveling yesterday, but look how pretty this is with yeah. the sunset. I just can't get over all the palm trees. The views here are just, they're beautiful. Look at that in the camera. Tomorrow we're actually doing ATVs, which is very exciting. So for the rest of the week, we have a lot of activities planned. We just took it a little bit slower today just to you know, warm up and get a lay of like where everything's at. Yeah, so far it's been really good. I would say it's a successful oh, yeah. first day, just relaxing. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna take you guys along tomorrow for the ATVs. But like I said, right now we are enjoying the beautiful sunset and heading to dinner.
hi guys it is the next day i just finished getting ready as you guys saw this morning we had the most relaxing morning got up got some coffee went for a walk on the beach and it was perfect and now we're actually about to head downstairs to go on the atvs which should be really fun so i'm excited for that i literally there's no room for the full mirror so i'm sitting on the table but i'm just wearing a tank top and some shorts and gonna throw on obviously some sandals so i'm gonna take you guys along with us as much as possible i'm not gonna bring my camera because i do not want it to get messed up but i am gonna bring my phones so i will try to film as much as i can but yeah so far it's been a really good time also as you guys saw last night we went out and got some drinks we had dinner by the beach my camera ended up dying so I didn't film as much as I wanted to but so far the trip has been perfect I just feel like I haven't really gotten the chance to talk to you guys because the lighting sucks in the bathroom and so when I'm getting ready it just I can't even film in there but we've just been really like taking it slow enjoying our time here and I obviously don't want to get my camera like all greasy and sandy anyways we need to head downstairs so we don't miss the bus but I will take you guys along with us as much as I can this ATV tour ended up being one of our favorite parts of the trip it's one thing to know how another country lives but it's another thing to actually see it and actually see the people living in that situation so you can see the kids were running up to us giving us high fives and definitely a very eye-opening experience and I think that that's one of the beautiful things about traveling is to actually see the culture and learn about it and how they live in that country so after we drove through a few of the towns we actually went out to the sugar sugarcane fields which is the Dominican Republic's biggest export so we got to learn all about that how they harvest it and actually got to try real raw sugarcane We are back in the room. I just got showered because you guys, I don't think I've ever been that dirty. It was so much fun though. Honestly, I think that that's probably one of the coolest things that I've ever done. I also got a coffee. The all-inclusive coffee here, dangerous. Like I said, the lighting in this room sucks. So I'm actually using my phone light as a little bit of lighting here. So I just got showered, put on the hotel robe, which hotel robes are just always so good. Now I'm getting ready. I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I just need to blow dry and do my hair. I'm just doing something really natural. This lash lift and tint, I did put a little mascara on, but this lash lift and tint at the beach is crucial. I probably will always get a lash lift and tint now before I go, just because you don't have to worry about like mascara during the day. But the ATVing, you guys, was so much fun. Honestly, probably one of the coolest things that I've ever done in my life. Obviously with that, you do have to be very careful, which we were, we were very safe. If you guys are ever visiting the Dominican Republic I highly recommend you take an ATV or like a buggy tour through the cities because um, they have a bunch of them and it also gives you a chance to learn more about the country and the culture so that was good now we're getting ready for dinner I think we might go they have so many different restaurants here I think they have 13 um, last night we had American which we just wanted to stick with something that was safe but I think tonight we're gonna get Italian or French which I was telling Devin, I'm like, I don't know if I've ever had like real French food. When I think of French food, I think of like pastries. But as for like dinner and lunch, I'm not really sure, honestly, what French food consists of. So I think we're going to go check out the menu there. And if we don't like it, we're going to head over to the Italian restaurant tomorrow. I'm also really excited too because Devin and I, we booked this corner. It's called the Romantic Corner here. And from nine to five, we get our own little pool. We get a cabana and we're like in our own corner of the hotel. Um, but yeah, I think that's all, all of the updates that I have for you guys. Um, I'm trying to think what else. We went, obviously went ATVing. I'm getting ready. We're doing the Romantic Corner tomorrow. We're going to get French tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready because we are leaving for dinner in like 30 minutes. All right, outfit of the night. I was gonna go with the dress, but I'm feeling a little bit bloated. So I went with this tank top, some jean shorts, and then this big white oversized 
um, button up from American Eagle. And then I just have on some gold jewelry and these tan sandals that I got in the prep and pack with me. So we are ready for dinner. All right, this is the French menu. They have grouper, snapper, duck, beef, and lamb. So I think we're going to go with Italian. It is the next day. We actually just got down to the romantic corner, our little area for the day. It's actually a lot bigger than we were expecting. We have our own little pool right here and then that entire area pretty much up there is ours as well. So we get this for like eight hours today, which is really nice. We're under a little cabana right now, just trying to get some work done, but this is our whole little area too. And this is our view for the entire day. We're actually going to do a little bit of work for our business. We have the laptop out here just because we didn't want to take the entire time off. We're just probably going to work for an hour or two. Okay, this is my outfit of the day. I have on this swimsuit cover up and this swimsuit. Both are from Target. I will, of course, link it down below for you guys. It's a two piece set, it comes with this tank top. And then I have these pants on that are kind of flare. And then the suit is actually like this olive green snake skin print. I really, really like it. And I think the cover up and the swimsuit goes really well together. So I'll link it down below for you guys. This is my little outfit of the day. But yeah, I just can't believe that we have this entire space to ourselves today. We actually went out to the jungle and got to learn about how they make coffee and cocoa from scratch so you can see here that they were just giving us a lesson about the beans and how they actually grow everything what is it chocolate mm -hmm. does it taste like chocolate no. <laughs> it does a little bit like chocolate without the sugar. Here they were actually passing out a mixture of sugar, which like I said earlier, that they had to make there, and cocoa powder, which was actually really good. And then they had the cutest cat there, so Devin made a new little friend. After this, we went into the next room where we actually got to try the coffee that they make there. I got mine sweetened, Devin got his black. He really liked his. Mine was absolutely way too hot to drink, even though I was so insistent on drinking this year. It was just okay, but totally fine because wait till you guys see what we got to do after this. We actually got to play with and hold capuchin monkeys, which is such a once in a lifetime experience. They were so cute and their little paws are so soft, but they actually had a capuchin monkey sanctuary there. They were very happy. They're very well taken care of. You had to take a lot of precautions before actually entering the space. This one here was a baby. He was so cute, but overall, like I said, such a unique and very, very cool experience. morning guys it is Tuesday morning we're just on a little morning walk it is our last morning which is definitely bittersweet I think we're like at that point where we're ready to like go home and get back into a routine but we're also sad to leave this beautiful place 
Anyways, I've kind of not been the best at vlogging, which I figured that would happen. I've just been kind of, you know, living in the moment and taking some clips as I can. But I'm definitely going to do a lot better job today of vlogging and just taking you guys through our day since it is our last day. So we just got up. We got ready. It's like 8 o'clock right now. We're going for a little morning walk and then we're going to go get some breakfast and then head down to the pool or the beach wherever we're going first but also wearing the yellow swimsuit that i got in the prep and pack with me vlog super super cute so i'm just wearing that with some jean shorts and that is my little outfit of the day hotel also has flamingos in here all the time they have like their own little courtyard here they're right in the center of the hotel they're guarded 24 7 and they're really well taken care of but they're so cute look at them sleeping we've made it down to the beach it's around 10 30 right now we're gonna stay here for a little bit and then go into the pool but it's such a nice morning this morning and because we're leaving tomorrow we at least wanted to get a little bit more time in the ocean and on the sand. About to do something amazing. 10 second handstand in the ocean. You see the waves. So it takes an incredible balance and um, athleticism and endurance and endurance. They won't let me know when I'm at 10. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> That's how someone who would an average person would do this, right? <laughs> That's so, not how you do it though, right? That's not how you're supposed to do it, no. Okay. So someone who's experienced like myself will show you how to do it. Tap me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tap you. <laughs> I won't tap you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we made it over to the pool. They actually have two infinity pools on the adult side. I hope you guys can hear me because it's awfully windy, but I'll show you guys the view because it is so pretty here. Actual paradise. All right, it is a little bit later. It's around seven o'clock. We just got ready for our last dinner. I think we're gonna go get Italian tonight, which I think is the only restaurant that I showed you guys. We're going back there. It was so good. I got a lasagna and it was literally the best lasagna that I've ever had. So we're gonna go back there since that was our favorite restaurant. This is my outfit of the night. I'm just wearing this like big oversized blue button up from H&M with some jean shorts, just going pretty casual. Yeah. <laughs> you know. 